Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our mnemonics playlist. In the last videos, we talked about Paget disease mnemonic, Digoxin mnemonic, Prince Mittal or variant angina mnemonic. Today, it's time for a microbiology mnemonic, Lishmaniasis, an ugly disease caused by Lishmania, like Lishmania donovani, transmitted by a vector known as the sand fly. It can lead to skin ulcer, spiking fever, hepatosplenomegaly, and much more. So let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist. I have tons of these mnemonics, especially this one. You need to watch this one because it was epic. As you know from my microbiology playlist, we divide microbes into bacteria, fungi, viruses, and parasites. Technically, parasites are not microbes because the word micro means microscopic, small, and some of these parasites are so big. You cannot see these with the naked eye, but parasites, boy, some of them are huge. And therefore, microbiology divides into bacteria bacteriology, fungology or mycology, virology and parasitology. Now onto the mnemonic, Lishmaniasis. Just write it like this. Try to be funny. What's the family of this organism? Trypanosomatida. And what's the genus? Lishmania. And what's the species? We have many. Donovani is common, especially with the visceral Lishmaniasis. Others include Lishmania major and what's the opposite of major? Minor. In phantom and then Brazilians. Who's the vector? The female sand fly. What's the technical scientific name? Sand flies are many. The ones that can transmit Lishmaniasis include Litsomia and Phlebotomus. What does Phlebo mean? Vein? Oh yeah, because it can bite me and make me bleed. Exactly. It's not gonna bite your artery, it's gonna bite your superficial vein or capillary. What's the organism classification? That's a protozoa, which is a parasite. Symptoms. It could be visceral leishmaniasis, it could be mucocutaneous leishmaniasis, or localized cutaneous leishmaniasis. So depending on the type, you can get spiking fever, large liver, hepatomegaly, large spleen, splenomegaly, and skin ulcers such as the Baghdad boil or Delhi boil and the ulcer can heal with fibrosis known as scar tissue. It's usually an ugly scar. This disease has acquired gazillion names in different parts of the world. In India and Pakistan, it's Kala Azar, which literally means black fever. In Iraq or Iraq, it's Baghdad boil. And in Syria, it's Aleppo boil. In New Delhi, it's Delhi boil. In the desert, in the middle of nowhere, it's desert boil. All of this is referring to skin ulcer. What's a boil, by the way? It's usually furuncle, but it does not have to be furuncle. It could be an ulcer. If I biopsy that lesion, what will I find? You'll find amastigotes in macrophages and the rod-shaped kinetoplast. Plast mean to create or to synthesize, as in plastic surgery. Kineto from kinetic. This is a rod-shaped particle. How do you treat leishmaniasis? Sodium stipagluconate or liposomal amphotericin B. That's it for today. Don't forget to watch my Prinz Metal Angina Mnemonic and Digoxin. If you want to learn more about amphotericin B and antibacterials, antivirals, and antifungals, download my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectsnalis.com or try my brand new OBGYN high yields course to learn about vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, acute fatty liver of pregnancy, chorioamnionitis, endometritis, and much more. You will also learn about causes of postpartum fever. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, click on the join button, choose the highest tier to get instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now. Support the channel here or here. Go to my website to download my notes, courses, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense.